All right. Now we could be now we could be real. <laughs> okay. Um let's fire it up. Let's fire it. Let's fire it up. Bashim Khlaisral. The cover of the Hail Shabbos. Nita, it's so good. So we're in Sicha 18. The Rabbi once spoke about the printing of sacred books in his day. The number of printers of both recent and earlier works had increased. They had no lack of customers for everyone was buying these volumes. Mamish Pomeranz comes out the catalog for Yotek Kislev. Everyone's there. Ma, everyone's there. No shortage, unlimited books, everything there. The commentaries, it's all right. They're interlinear, <laughs> interlinear works, so accessible. The Rebbe said that the Talmud teaches the day will come when the Torah will be forgotten amongst the Jews. Was it Latishkach Al Pizar? That's what Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said in response to that. Maybe I'm missing a word. Therefore, many books are printed and bought with people building up their own libraries so that the Torah is not forgotten. A beautiful thing. Even the simplest tailor has books. As each book is published, people rush to buy it, building up respectable collections. This is Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Nassim, talking about this in the late 1700s, early 1800s. Isn't it amazing that we totally imagine what what they had available and all the more so now there's like a book coming out every couple of days in mosaic press <laughs> i mean everyone has a bookshelf nowadays and there's so many books to choose from self-help books any type of uh english translation everything's available what people do not realize says Rabbi Nachman, is that these books are of no help unless they look into them and study their teachings but today Torah study has fallen very low, and few people engage in it. How can books prevent the Torah from being forgotten if nobody studies them? It's an amazing thing. One may think, okay, the printing press, printing many pages, able people have or have their pen to the paper, they're writing many books, and in Baruch Hashem, we have money to buy them. But what good is it if the shelf is closed, as you can see behind me, collecting dust? Now, Chavra, I was sitting, I was sitting in Herzliya on an Arab Shabbos, and I was thinking about this exact Torah. How the Rebbe of Pitzest and the Pitzest and the Rebbe talks about how it's exactly what Rabbi Nachman is saying when it comes to the bookshelf. Like, what what good is it? I think it's linked to Parsha Bereshit, and I don't know how it's connected or why it's connected. I just know he brings us, and now we're reading it right now with Rabbi Nachman. What good is it to have a bookshelf if it's just collecting dust? So I was thinking to myself that this this can be compared to to us Yidin. Us Yidin, every single person is a holy, holy story. We're a best-selling book. Mama is a best-selling book. Or Shlomo tells us that all the time. We're a best-selling book each and every year. And the saddest thing in the world is, and this is what Rabbi Nachman is saying right now, the Pete and Rabbi is saying, the saddest thing in the world is what? To have your book closed, to not look at the book, to forget about the book. Meaning to forget about ourselves, forget about our specialness, forget about our abilities, our dreams, Oy vey, do we start to dust off, start to, to dust ourselves up, collect dirt, even mold. I had a mold scare with my books this winter. Oh my gosh, mold growing on the books. It's the scariest moment of my life, Kurani. It's the scariest moment. No, but mamish, like the forgetfulness that we have, the forgetfulness of the sweetness of the words, of the letters, of ourselves. And... I think it's our mission right now. Rabbi Nachman is telling us to remember the book, to open up the book again, to see the book with new eyes, to see ourselves with new eyes, with hitchachut, with strength, with simcha, like we're learning it for the first time. 
And what's the most beautiful thing in the world? Is when someone has a relationship with Torah. And the most damaging thing in the world, like we just mentioned, is when we distance ourselves from Torah, meaning distancing ourselves from ourselves. So, we should be Zoha to learn ourselves. It's not enough to just have ourselves on the shelf. It's not enough to just get by. You know, Roshomo is telling us about like Sfirata um, Omer, uh, how the Indian of Sfirata Omer is not, just, it's not about just getting by, but it's telling the Rebunna Shayelham, I want more than that. I want to go much higher. I want to go beyond nature. So same too with ourselves. It's not enough to just keep ourselves on the on the shelf, you know, and, and say, I bought it. I went to the store and I bought it. That's some that's something. That's something. And maybe even to open it up with excitement for the first couple of days and then closing it again and not seeing it for the next six months. That's something. But to open up ourselves again, this is Pesach. This is opening ourselves to the possibility of freedom. We are free. We're mamish free. And we should read ourselves once more and never stop reading ourselves with new eyes. And the greatest gift in the world is to show someone else that they're a bestseller as well. So we should reveal the Sipuri Maisio within ourselves, that it, we're not just a story that was, but we're a story that is, that's happening and continuously happening and continuously renewing itself, but also reveal to other people that they as well, Gamata, Gamatem, also them. May, they may have been so forgotten. Their pages may have been ripped out, maybe even covered with coffee. But Mamish, we're going to replenish them. We're going to revive them. We're going to bring them back to life. We're going to open up again and show them how sweet their words are, even if we can't see them with the coffee stains and all. And even if the pages are turning yellow, Mamish. We're going to open up again. We're going to open them up again. We're going to reveal how new they are, how old and new they are at once. So, Chavar, Vesir, Tashmash, Bizocha. Questions, comments, please feel free. I know it's a, it, it's a crazy stretch when it comes to like the connection between us being a story and Rabbi Nachman saying that. Torah books have been forgotten. It's not enough to just have them on the shelf, but actually reading them. So I don't know. I, I thought that would be like a nice, nice connection. Gurari, you got you got uh, something or or the face? The face is enough. Um, I got nothing. I'm just learning tonight. Baruch Hashem. And you Yerushalayim Yerach Kodesh. That's everything. <laughs> Dude, Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Say hi to Sammy Burstein for me, okay? Oh my God, Sammy. I love him. I love him. I will. He's a yid. I, I told him you guys got a room with each other. I know. I know. I love him, bro. It's Make amazing. it happen. Make it happen. He's fire. All right. I love He's you, brother. Be All well. right. Take care, bro.